Hi everybody, this is Mr. Mike. Say hello to Dr. Bob, who's uh, practicing social distortion. Oh, distancing. Social distancing, yes. <laughs> we had our tape measures out this morning, so we should be good. A um, little bit different uh, segment today for episode nine here with the Mechanicsburg Learning Center. Uh, we're going to do Dino a Day, but we're going to expand it to include a little mini Dino concert. So uh, thank you all for tuning in. And uh, remember to share this when we are, we are all finished. Uh, the animal today that we're going to talk about just for a couple minutes before we start the music is this thing. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, this is known as Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon, brace yourselves, was not a dinosaur. Dimetrodon was actually an ancient mammal. And the way we know it was a mammal was uh, it didn't lay eggs and it probably gave birth to live babies, hopefully and uh, it may have actually nursed its young. That's what mammals do, reptiles do not do that. In fact, there's really only one mammal that we're aware of that lays eggs, and that is the platypus, but that's a whole other show and a whole other uh, series of episodes. So Dimetrodon was about 10 feet long. You can see its bones at the Smithsonian, which just reopened recently. They uh, shut down their dino display for about five years, but they do have a fully articulated Dimetrodon skeleton, which is really cool. So it's about 10 feet long. Take a look at its mouth. You can tell carnivore, okay? Carnivore, just like us. Uh, actually, we're omnivores because we eat plants. We eat salads and hamburgers. So Dimetrodon was definitely a carnivore. And the way he got its name was because he has two different kinds of teeth, a sharp tooth and a gnawing tooth. Di means two, metra means measure, don means tooth. So it's two measured teeth. And you can see by his sprawling stance, he didn't really walk around like a dinosaur. Dinosaurs tend to have their legs under them when they walk. Dimetrodon sprawled out sort of like an alligator or maybe even a Komodo dragon. But here's the mind-blowing fact of the day. Because Dimetrodon is an extremely old, old, old fossil, about 260 million years ago, and he was a mammal, this means that he was actually more related to humans than he was dinosaurs. Okay? Dinosaurs, reptiles, this was a mammal. So we're going to start our little mini concert with a song all about Dimetrodon. Just remember that it's not a dinosaur. It is, uh, in fact, a mammal. Dr. Bob? Dimetrodon had a tall sail on his back Don't know if its color was red, green, or black His back sail stood straight up, it never would fold It must have been quite a cool sight to behold It probably helped him a lot when the sun rose up in the morn And his sleeping was done He needed to warm up and go find some food Cause as predators go Perhaps it was meant to attract a new mate Whatever it was, we can just speculate Now this fellow had two different teeth in his jaw The one kind could stab, the other could gnaw So we can construe he took food for his gizzard Which makes him much different than your average lizard Lizard can only take bites and then they swallow. They gulp one chunk down, then another would follow. Dimetrodon's teeth put all lizards to shame, which is another key fact that has led to his fame. He grew to 11 feet long, we surmised. His bones tell the story of stature and size. Scientists think he weighed 500 pounds, but would just have to guess. Find that it's not a true blue dinosaur. 
dinosaur. He really should be classified as a mammal, which makes him linked closer to, I don't know, art bark and camel. This creature lived long before dinosaurs did, but no word in fact about such I know. He once ruled this land with his three foot high sail, and now you all know the Dimetrodon's tail. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandpa, grandma, aunts and uncles, cousins. Don't want to forget the cousins. Dr. Bob was hermetically sealed two weeks ago and has yet to come out into the atmosphere, which is fine. That's good. We don't want to get anybody sick. Make sure you guys are all washing your hands. Uh, speaking of hands, maybe we can use our hands and do a little clapping this morning. I know it's early. It's about nine minutes after 10 Eastern Standard Time. But we'd like to do a song now that teaches you a couple of things. All of Mr. Mike's songs have a, you know, a method to my madness. You will learn something, whether you want to or not. And what is today, Bob? Today is Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. How about learning something on a Wednesday? Ooh, weird. Okay. First thing you want to know is that dinosaurs are extinct, right? At least the big guys were. The big guys were extinct, but the small ones are still around, okay? And those are called birds. I know. So, although uh, the big guys are extinct, the little guys are still around, and we refer to them as birds. This was a theory a few years ago. We weren't sure that birds were related to dinosaurs, but now there's no doubt. Physiologically, birds are very, very similar to dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, not many of them flew. A couple of them glided around, but not many of them flew. So in this song, you're going to learn that dinosaurs extinct, but those crazy things that flew around back then, many of those were not dinosaurs. Those were pterosaurs, and pterosaurs are a distinct species, not dinosaurs. Some of you knew that. Some of you are hearing this for the first time. Those are pterosaurs, not dinosaurs. So... They are not related. They are distant cousins. They all, you know, they all went to Burger King together, but they didn't uh, hang out in terms of being uh, family members. Now, these things, pterosaurs are completely extinct. None of them are left. So that's something else you'll learn from the story. And then, of course, we'll talk about briefly in the song, what did dinosaurs eat? We know they ate meat. They're called carnivores. We know they ate plants. They're called herbivores. Some of them ate both. We call them omnivores. And then there's all these other kind of diets, fruits, insects, uh, dead things, whatever. So this song is all about what a couple of facts about dinosaurs that we want you to learn. If you have a kazoo at home, you may play along, okay? So first things first, hand claps. And the hand claps are very simple. Rhino boy, please join me. I see you watching. Dinosaurs are extinct now. Dinosaurs are extinct now. Dinosaurs are extinct now, except for all the birds. Except for all the birds, no matter what you've heard. Dinosaurs are extinct now, except for all the birds. Let's do two.
what happened to the pterosaurs? Well, I already told you. The pterosaurs are extinct now. The pterosaurs are extinct now. The pterosaurs are extinct now. They all have disappeared. They all have disappeared, and admittedly, some look pretty weird. The pterosaurs are extinct now. They all have disappeared. my fun part where I get to talk about what they eat. Some dinosaurs were insectivores. Some dinosaurs were insectivores. Some dinosaurs were insectivores. They ate munch a crunchy lunch. They munch a crunchy lunch. They had to eat a bunch. Some dinosaurs were insectivores. They ate munch a crunchy lunch. Next on the menu, Bob. What do we have up I don't next? Bring one up here. We'll see what's up. Are you, oh, are you guys want a little country music in the morning? Country music on a Wednesday morning. We talked about this animal during the Dino a Day, brought to you by Mechanicsburg Learning Center, called Argentinosaurus, discovered in Lemoyne. No kidding, Argentina. Discovered in Argentina. At that time, we thought it was probably the biggest land living animal herbivorous animal ever discovered and uh, there have been a couple things discovered since that might be a little bigger but Argentina's sure was a biggie. Dr. Bob? No. 
Not like something this cement could drop out of the sky. Just remember though that things aren't always quite what they seem. I stretch and yawn and finally awaken from my dream. Awaken from my dream. That's the Argentina Soros. He's so huge, he might ignore us. One thing's for sure, he never bore us. We got the virus, I bet he cured us. So come on now and join the chorus. switch gears just a little bit, do a song about another animal that is not a dinosaur. Because if it swims, it's not a dinosaur, most likely. There is a dinosaur that's getting a lot of publicity these days called Spinosaurus. <laughs> and that thing definitely went swimming because we found fish bones and dino bones in its, uh, what used to be its belly. But if it swam for a living, mm, pretty much it's not a dinosaur. If it... If it swam and flew for a living, it probably wasn't a dinosaur. Dinosaurs had to walk or scamper. So this is an, a story about an animal that swam. It was about the length of a school bus, kids, just to put this in perspective. Wow. If you would like to see the skull of this thing, is at the State Museum, and it's big. In fact, the only thing we've ever discovered about this animal is its skull. All the rest rotted away. All we have are these giant... Uh, skull facial bones and the thing didn't have teeth it just had two sharp bones two plates that self sharpened every time it would clamp down and bite on something it just sharpened it a little bit so it had no teeth but boy it sure had a way to uh, bite uh, animals in half this is an animal called Doncleosteus, and we would like to do this in the uh, in the style of a reggae song reggae. dr bob take it It's okay 
to dance around your living room kids. So Those long ago seas were just full of attacks from monster sized fishes that make you to the snacks. to the English slang, the English pronunciations of things. Thanks so much for uh, watching this morning. We're going to do this again every morning, at least me. Maybe Dr. Bob will show up again if this thing continues on ad nauseum. <laughs> so if this thing continues on, maybe we'll have Dr. Bob come, come back next week. You just let us know in your comments on the Facebook page. If you like Dr. Bob, or should I kick him out like a big Tocleosteus fish? So we're going to do one more song for you, and this is specifically for the adults. Uh, Dr. Bob, say a few words. You were from Florida. You, you lived in Florida for a while? Yes, lived in Florida for a while, in Gainesville, Florida, where Tom Petty was from. And uh, some of the members of the band I was in down there have actually uh, played with him and uh, had an enjoyable experience. And this is sort of a tribute to him and to dinosaurs. What a, what a great, great speech, Dr. Bob. Thank you. A tribute to dinosaurs and Tom Petty. Affectionately known as TP, but you can't say TP in a supermarket these days. You no. get arrested, you get a, no. somebody jumps you. TP! <laughs> okay. Tom Petty song, all about dinosaurs. You didn't know he wrote this, did you? Now I'm safe 
so much. This is Mr. Mike and say hello to Dr. Bob. We'll do it again soon. See you tomorrow for episode nine of Dino a Day brought to you by the Mechanicsburg Learning Center. Thanks so much. Have fun. Wash your hands for goodness sake.